hey, look at this. An actual freaking video in my space. How neat is that? Well, I just wanted to talk a little bit about something that has happened to me recently. A uh, dream that I've had for quite a while, ever since uh, probably middle school. As you guys know, I've been doing a lot of voiceover work now, with really following my dreams and trying to attempt to do that. And I've gotten a decent report on uh, the things that I've done so far. Pretty proud of myself for what I've come and accomplished. So one of the classes that I took, it happened to have in its deal a chance to go record a demo recording. Now for those of you that don't know too much about voice acting, a voice demo is kind of exactly what it sounds like. It's just a recording about a minute long-ish of just your voice and just you can show to clients hey, this is what I sound like, this is my range, and all that stuff. The recording demo is very much a gateway into getting into more clientele, more professional work, more paid work. Now, this class that I took, they offered a legitimately official demo recording that I got to do, and I managed to go into a official studio and do it. Now, with my audio engineering background, I could potentially put together a demo recording myself, it probably wouldn't be as good as a professional word to make it. I can at least make it sound good, but on a really minute professional detail, there's probably, you could probably tell the difference if you were into that industry and if you had someone that you knew there that could tell you the difference. So I actually got to do a official one and it was really eye-opening. I could not believe how incredibly amazing it was. I was actually kind of sweating a lot during uh, the recording because I was just so nervous about the entire process. I just didn't want to ruin anything. I wanted to sound good. And me personally, I'm a very, you know, I don't want to ruin anything or I'll default to the professional's advice on like, what to do and stuff like that. In that way, I'm very much like a soldier. I very much take orders from my superiors and then follow suit and do the best that I can so that they are satisfied. Being in the professional booth and doing a semi-professional recording for a demo script, it was really eye-opening. I, I felt really at home there. I'm supposed to be here. Just being in there was just really comforting. You know, it was just me, the sound engineer, and the uh, quote-unquote director, and I was able to follow directions very well. I was able to adapt to any changes that the director wanted, and my god, it just came out really well. But besides that, I've just been doing so much voiceover work recently, and been doing a whole lot of Twitch streaming, and I've been wanting to get back into YouTube videos, and I've also been trying to work out and eat properly. It's just been a roller coaster of busyness that I've been up to. So I know I've said this so many times, but I do plan on getting back into the swing of things for making YouTube videos and just making content in general. Short video, I know, but I just wanted to share with you guys just an amazing experience, something that I've always wished that I could do since I was a very young person. And you know what? I still want to do it. I'm still on that path to uh, do more into the studio booth and I don't think I have any signs of stopping. It's going to be really hard to juggle all the things I would like to do, but hopefully I'll be able to manage. Uh, I, I don't need sleep. Anyways, that's good. Anyways, that's... I, can, I, I, I suck at endings. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for this video. Again, sorry for the short video. It's more of an update video, but I just want to make a vlog about this feeling that I had. Driving home, I I was just on cloud nine and I, I couldn't be happier. But I'm rambling on enough, so I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.